Yes, we look at a condition of the thyroid, which is known as a subclinical hypothyroidism. So um, to me, I'll just say simply, um, in this condition, the thyroid levels are going down, okay? But you can't really say it is up to the level of what? Hypothyroidism yet, okay? So we we'll look at the subclinical hypothyroidism, we'll define it and state the characteristics of this disease condition. So um, in subclinical hypothyroidism, it happens when you have elevated levels of what the TSH as the thyroid stimulating hormone. The thyroid stimulating hormone levels are high, okay? But you are having a normal level of what? T4. Because normally, if thyroid stimulating hormone levels are up, the T4 should be low because the thyroid stimulating hormone is what? Used up to form the T4. So now, okay, what is used to make me should not be there if I'm there. Do you understand? Because that thing has been used up already. But now you have high levels of TSH and T4. So you don't technically have hypothyroidism, commonly called the overt hypothyroidism in comparison. But it has the potential to develop into the obvious hypothyroidism. So in the subclinical, it is just starting. Is just starting, okay? So, um, talking about the characteristics of this condition, in subclinical hypothyroidism, it is characterized by a normal serum of what? The T4, that's thyroxine, and, F and, T and T3, that's a um, triiodotyronine, okay? Um, it has a higher prevalence in females than in males, cause more in females than in males, and it increases, it has a prevalence that increases with age. So that means you mostly um, affect people that are aged up and all. So um, in subclinical hypothyroidism, uh, it is actually an independent risk factor for atherosclerosis and mild cardiac infarction. So most people that have this subclinical hypothyroidism, they're having problems with their hearts, okay, and all that. Then L4, uh, LT4, that's a level thyroxine, is actually like a synthetic um, type of what um, this. Um, it's a synthetic type of ty uh, thyroid, okay? So it's recommended in patients that have a serum level of this um, thyroid stimulating hormone more than 10 milliunits per liter. Also in patients that have a high titer of anti, um, like antibodies of what? Uh, this thyroid peroxidase, which is a very important enzyme in the synthesis of thyroid. It's also recommended in patients that have goiter. It's recommended in patients that start showing the symptoms as symptomatic patients. Then it's also indicated in non-elderly patients with a thyroid stimulating hormone levels of about what? 4.5 to 10, which have now started becoming symptomatic. It's also indicated in pregnant women who have subclinical hypothyroidism. Then in all others, like in all other cases of this subclinical hypothyroidism, just try monitoring the thyroid stimulating hormone for every 6 to 12 months because most of this condition is just starting. So you don't jump to treatment. So you can just observe for a while, okay, to see if it will resolve on its own or it will, if it will jump to the obvious type of hypothyroidism. So that's it for the definition of uh, subclinical hypothyroidism and the characteristics of this disease condition.